Rockwell Diamonds has posted its first quarter results today. James Campbell, Chief Executive and President of Rockwell, joins us on the line. It's been a good run for the share price of Rockwell uh, Diamonds, James. Three rand to four rand forty in the past month. I know you're not the, uh, you know, the, the, the largest traded stock on the JSC, but it appears as though somebody, or more than somebody, was very excited about the prospect that you could get into profit, and you duly have done so. No, thank you very much, Alec. And when we last spoke, we did speak about the strategy and how it would eventually uh, lead down to bottom line results. And we're very pleased that, you know, with our slow but steady work in terms of building our Middle Orange River mines, much of which through working capital, that, that uh, the revenue from those mines, and in particular the beneficiation revenue which flowed from strong Christmas sales, has slowed through to the bottom line, enabling us to achieve uh, a bottom line profit. So is this it now? Are you now back into the green? Or will you be in the green uh, from here onwards? No, our, our strategy, Alec, is to get to half a million cubic meters uh, per month. And that will enable us to have quarterly earnings stability. At the moment, we're sitting at around about 350,000 cubic meters uh, per month, which means that we will often uh, will have irregular recovery of large high quality diamonds which would still give some earnings uh, volatility but once we get up to half a million cubic meters per month which is on our program for this year we'll start to see that uh, volatility diminish uh, and, and bottom line profits be more consistent earlier this month there was an interview in the sunday times of london with the new chief executive of de beers where he was very upbeat about the diamond market and the contribution that De Beers will be making to Anglo-American in the forthcoming set of numbers. Is that your experience as well, that uh, the, the diamond prices have been firm? We, we've seen two things, Alec. One is we've seen it being uh, firm, but not um, optimistic, so optimistic that it's uh, been very, very strong. We've seen it being cautiously steady and firm. And the other part, Alec, we've seen is that there's been very... Uh, large numbers of people attending our tenders, uh, up to 60 companies at times, which is a, a very strong indicator that there's a lot of healthy interest in rough diamonds. What about that share price move? From 3 Rand to 4 Rand 40 in a month is uh, quite spectacular. Have you been uh, doing a lot of work with the investor relations? Uh, Alex, I think you hit the nail on the head a moment ago. It's all about the uh, the very low liquidity in, in Rockwell stock. So if you look at the, uh, the number of shares actually traded, it's actually fairly small. But we have actually just completed a, a roadshow. We went to North America, Canada, and United Kingdom to talk to our shareholders, which we do once a year, and to talk to prospective new shareholders. And, and maybe because we only do this once a year uh, with our standard corporate presentation and because we're a very small company and well below the radar screen uh, that people maybe only take interest in us when we go and actually present to them. Well, you've got a long way to go to get to back to the share prices that you did uh, trade at a few years ago. So I suppose there's, there's upside potential if you do get this right, James. Are you confident, though, that the story that you're giving now is one that uh, the future is bright? Alec, we've stuck to our knitting for the last three years. And, and as we've stuck to our knitting, our... our You've seen we've posted an eighth successive quarter revenue growth as well. And we've been having slow but steady progress every single quarter. And I see no reason, Alec, why that shouldn't continue into the future. That was James Campbell, the chief executive and president of Rockwell Diamonds at share price today. Another 12.5% higher. It's trading at 4 and 55 now, at 55% today. In fact, 13 and 3 quarter percent higher uh, correction. So it's one of those small stocks for private investors that if you'd Managed to jump in three months ago. Mm. Be very happy today.